What is up you guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video we're going to be walking around the vending machine route that I'm looking to purchase. It consists of six machines on six locations. I'm going to show you guys inside the locations, take a look at the machines and maybe I'll even put an offering on the road today. If you guys happen to be new here, my name is Benji. I'm an entrepreneur from Miami Beach, Florida. I own an e-commerce business as well as a vending route and I'm looking to purchase this full line route to try to expand my business. I want to create more passive income. So with that being said, let's go ahead and check out this route and see what you guys think. All right, you guys, so I'm back home now after a super long day on the route. The owner of the route took me to five out of six of the locations that I'm looking to purchase. They were actually really, really good locations. I am super impressed. These locations were overall super high foot traffic. I saw so many people actually buying stuff for the vending machine while we were there. While we were literally talking about the vending machine, standing off to the side, there was people spending money on these vending machines, which was absolutely crazy. These locations were super legit. And when it comes down to vending machines, honestly, if you have a good location, it's as good as gold. It really does not matter what kind of vending machine you have. If you do not have a location where there's a lot of people in and out, a lot of buyers, it doesn't really make a difference because you're not gonna make as so much money. The five out of six locations that I did get to visit today with the owner of the route, they were all a pack of people, so that's super good to see. Also to note, these locations were all in super nice areas, very nice drives to get to everywhere. And keep in mind, all these locations, well, five out of six of them at least, were all very close to the area that I'm looking to move to in a little while, so it'd be very local. I could basically service the locations just by going right down my block, at least a few of them. With that being said, I wanna show you guys some of the locations. I did take a few video clips I'll put up on the screen next to me. The first location was in like the break room of like a lending company. It was kind of a slower location. The guy was telling me that this is probably the slowest out of all of them. It's a company that probably has 50 to 80 employees in the office. So while we were in there, there was still people around. We even saw there was one customer while we were in there, which is always good to see. This location out of the others is probably one of the slower ones, but that's okay because it's really just compared to the other ones. The other ones are just absolute beasts. The condition of the machine at the first location was just immaculate. If you guys can see in the video here, Super good condition. The owner takes really good care of these machines. He's very familiar with the machine. He knows how to fix everything on it. He even told me that he, I could use him as a contact if anything goes wrong within the machines, which is pretty much invaluable in this business. The product selection was on point. Also, you guys keep in mind that since this guy has been running this route for a while, what I kind of learned today, I sure did learn a lot today about vending, which is absolutely awesome. I hung out with this guy for hours, so I truly learned a lot. Also keep in mind that he's been running this route for over a year now, so he knows at these locations what sells well, what doesn't sell as well. He kind of has each location optimized for what sells well and what doesn't, which is pretty cool. If I was just going and not knowing anything yet, I would have to kind of do the testing, which is what you have to do at a new location, of course. It's pretty cool that I'm kind of set up to begin with with the right products and each machine's kind of optimized for each location. All right, you guys, so location number two that we went to today was actually a private school. This guy actually has locations in two private schools in the area, which is pretty cool. This private school, he was telling me, is just an absolute beast of a location. He says he has to come and refill it sometimes three times a week. Funny fact is, I'm actually living like a few blocks away from this private school. So there were kids in line waiting to vend stuff from this machine because they were so excited that there was new product going on. There was refills coming in. While we were servicing the machine within maybe 20 minutes of being there, I saw with my own eyes, these are not paid actors, these are real customers. I saw probably $18 worth of transactions going through this machine. This location was awesome. The machine was in perfect condition. The staff was super nice and friendly. The kids were great. And this is definitely probably gonna be one of the best locations on the entire row. All right, you guys, so location number three was in another office type building. It was in like the break room area. This location has a lot more staff than location number one. There was so much staff in and out that we honestly were kind of in the way, even restocking the machine, even servicing the machine. And while we were there, I saw probably at this one, maybe 12 to $15 for the transactions go down while we were there for maybe the 30 minutes. Maybe this is pretty common when it comes to snack machines and drink machines. I'm not really sure. This is my first time collect ever collecting with this type of route, but people were again in line waiting for us to close up the door so that they could buy stuff from the machine, which is an obvious great thing to see. The customers lining up, just raving about the product. The route owner literally had customers coming up to him and thanking him for stocking certain snacks in this machine, which was really, really cool. The biggest thing to worry about here is the actual location and how busy it is. This location is super busy. Again, the staff was super nice. Customers were happy, customers were friendly. This is definitely one of the other really good locations on the road. All right, you guys, so location number four, this might be one of the coolest locations. It's actually an outdoor location. It's outside of a swimming pool area, if you guys seen the video here. This location is just packed with like, I think teenagers, like I think it's a high school or something, I'm not exactly sure. The machine is set in a really good area right next to where everyone hangs out. This machine when we arrived there was like literally almost empty and he just serviced it a few days ago, it was full of cash. There were literally people in line waiting to vend all the new products that we were restocking inside the machine. I feel like this one would also be a really, really good location. I'm super happy it's included in the row. All 
All right, you guys, in location number five, this location was a little bit more quiet, just in the entryway of like a lobby area. There's not too much going on. There were some office workers in and out and kind of that type of thing. The machine looked great in there, if you guys have seen the video. It's kind of an upscale place, so that's super nice. This location apparently does okay as far as I saw on all the reports and everything, but when I was in there today, it seemed pretty quiet. There is other competition in this location. If you walk around the corner, there's a few more vending machines. But the one that he had is right up in front. That's kind of nice. It's kind of like the first one that you see the first glance. So that's probably the one that most people would use, I would think. But yeah, overall, this location was pretty solid, I think. All right, you guys, so in conclusion, I really, really like this vending machine route. I'm not sure about the price exactly yet. Maybe I can negotiate it. The route is for sale for over $20,000 for just the six machines. I didn't get to see the six machine today because it was closed, but it's also a pretty high performing machine as, as far as I saw on the reports and everything. What's cool is I got to see all the reports on the software, which gets tracked through like the credit card readers and all that if you guys aren't familiar. So I saw the reports, this route's making really, really good money. The locations are absolutely crazy busy. I definitely wanna ask you guys for any tips you guys have, what you guys think of this so far. Please leave comments down below. But I really liked it, honestly. Like I said, the machines were in great condition. The locations were super busy and the staff and customers all seem super friendly. There's not too much traffic in this area, so that's also a plus. I really do think I want to put an offer in on this route. It was really fun going around to every location today besides the one, of course, learning about the machines. Like I said, I've never really dealt with snack or drink machines, but the owner showed me exactly how everything works, which is pretty simple, honestly. These machines aren't as technical as I really thought going into this whole thing. What I think I'm gonna do is probably take a few days, go over the financials a little bit deeper. I did get to see all the financials in the software, which is pretty cool. So I have an idea of the breakdown of the gross profit and the net profit and everything. So that's definitely helpful as far as figuring this all out. I'll probably go over it for a few more days. Maybe early next week we can put an offer, see what happens from there. I'll definitely be bringing you guys along, obviously, of course. I'll keep you guys updated on everything. If you guys do want me to buy this route, smash the like button. I seriously do love vending. I've been vending since I was 13 years old. I've never ran full line machines. I think it'd be a super cool learning experience. Most of you guys might be thinking like, why even do it? Why is it even worth your time? Like, I truly just think it'd be a lot of fun to do this, even for a year or two, whatever it might be. I could always obviously hire someone to run the small route for me. It is a pretty small route, mind you, so it's not gonna take that much of my time, honestly. The fact that it's a pretty small route and it's gonna be right in the area where I'm gonna be living, so keep it all in mind. Again, if you guys want me to buy this route and you wanna start this new journey with me, please, please hit that like button. If you guys did like this video, also hit the like button. Subscribe for more business journeys with me, and other than that, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.